Hey designer friends, let's explore one of my favorite recording tools nowadays. I am full time using this tool for recording my Figma tutorials and also at the same time I am recording my course. So I am using this tool. I fell in love with this tool because this is really simple and the most advanced feature okay so most of the tool i have used till now and they are pretty complicated and the stuff which i don't need they force me to use it and this tool only provide the tools and feature which i really need and it only focus on that area so that's why i love this tool and the most important thing this is pretty light tool okay because most of the tool i have used after 10 minutes and 20 minutes recording uh, so sometime i record one hour two hours so my system uh, heat up and uh, my recording is getting stuck so i I have to pause the recording and cool down my system and then i want to re-record my clip again so in this tool we don't have this kind of issue this is pretty lightweight as we can see okay so let's quickly explore from the entire screen recording so if you want to record the whole entire screen you can just select this feature okay once i click this and as we can see it will record the highlighted area i press escape and this is disappeared now we have the second option for record area so once i click this so as we can see i specify the area to do not record the menu bar or the status bar okay so once i press escape again it will discard area recording now we have option for a recording window so once i select this it will record only the specific window which i select okay next we have recording only video so if i want to record my face and in instructing or recording video of myself so this is the best feature for recording video only okay so this is audio only record so if we select this option we have to only record audio no video or any screen recording so this is the best feature if you want to record only your audio now on the right side we have some options for uh, recording like for example i want to record my screen but at the same time i record my face uh, talking and instructing now it is this is quite popular uh, feature at the bottom right or left uh, user face while talking so you can see at the same time screen recording and the face also so normally i turn off this feature because of privacy you know so i have to turn this up otherwise you can select your camera if i want to record my face so i have to select this uh, otherwise obvious camera or i select this do not record camera option next is the important option for microphone selection so i have external microphone in uh, installed or connected to my macbook pro which is samsung q to you and i normally use this uh, microphone for my tutorial recording and course recording if you don't have external microphone you can use your built-in microphone like for example i have macbook pro so i can select macbook pro microphone built-in uh, with the laptop okay so uh, this is the option for recording your system audio so i don't want to record my system audio like for example if th there is music playing or anything else uh, on my headphone so i don't want to record my system audio next and the last option we have is to select the resolution this is important and most of the tool making it really complicated so from the drop down simply you have to select 4k 2k 1080p and 720p pretty simple so i have to select 4k whichever resolution you want you can select now we have the bottom uh, these are pretty cool feature and if you want to use this for example auto segment so here you can turn on this feature first and then we can discuss this okay so split by duration okay so sometime any restriction on the duration of the clip so for example if you have any requirements up the specific time for example 10 minute clip maximum so you can specify your time here hours and minutes okay so if you if you uh, specify the time here so once the clip reach to this specific time it will uh, split the clip okay so this is the best feature if you have any restriction on the clip duration or if you have any size duration so for example in some areas you have to uh, split your clip by size so for example 1 gb maximum uh, clip requirement so you have you to specify your clip size here so once it's reached to this specific size the clip will split so this is the best feature so you can use this feature okay next whatever uh, option you choose so you have to select this next screen recording only so if you want to only record on the next screen so this feature will only apply to this setup so if you have to select every screen uh, record so every time you start recording so this feature will uh, be work okay on every screen recording so i am not using this uh, feature so i have to turn this off if you want you can use this next we have schedule a recording so this is like for example if you have specific time for recording or specific date so you can specify your time here and your date here and here is how much duration you do you want first you specify your time then your date and then your duration how much duration do you want this clip to be recorded okay next we have the 
same option for the camera if you want to turn off your uh, turn on your camera you can select your camera here you have to select your microphone system audio and the resolution you want and once you click on the confirm so you on that specific time the recording started so i'm not using this feature so as we can see the white mean i have do not configure these options the one with the color so as we can see these are the important one and i have already configured those options so this is the mouse click option so first you have to turn this on and then once i click on the preview area so as we can see this feature works so this is the best feature because sometimes my cursor is on the corner of the screen okay so if you want to change color of this circle so you can uh, select from here so for example i select this red uh, sorry this pink color and once i click so as we can see this is in the pink wave style so it highlight my cursor is here and this is the style if I, uh, you want to use the fill color so as we can see here you can select your style and i prefer the outline one okay next is the size this is important feature if you want to highlight only smaller area not this big type of size and this is the medium size so as we can see this is also pretty good but i prefer the large one because of uh, my beginner student but now this is an animation of the click so if i turn off this so as we can see this is pretty static and if i turn this on so as we can see this is pretty cool and uh, looking perfect so i am using this option okay now let's discuss another configure feature and this is also my most favorite feature okay so this is basically keystroke before i was recording and uh, i have another extension which was free and paired like you have to use the separate feature for the keystroke and this is like a built-in in this one so i really like this feature okay so for example i am recording especially for the beginners and sometime i like a speed up things like i am uh, doing this so I press the shortcut like command d or command a so so user didn't understand this and mostly the beginners so they ask in the comment uh, what shortcut did you press so sometimes I, I pronounce it but sometimes uh, i like forget to pronounce so user confused and once this feature is turned on so user can see at the bottom of the screen that i press the shortcut so uh, here we have to define the position so i personally like the bottom center position do you want you like you can assign the position from here the size uh, i pre i prefer the large one you can select the medium one or the small one and next the appearance so i prefer the dark one uh, because it's mostly like a perfect for the dark background and light text like this pop-up is so i prefer this one and whatever you like for example if you like the light one you can use the light next we have background blur so it's beneath like for example if there is any uh, other like tool menu or uh, tools items etc so it's blurred it out so it's more like a contrast and pop-up look and also uh, there is option for show all keys if you want to uh, record your whole keys pressing okay so i select and i suggest this option show only short Shortcuts because user only concerned with your shortcut keys so this option i normally select and i press ok so as we can see these two features i really use and these are colors so it means i configure these features now let's discuss about quickly the uh, drawing option so for example if you want to highlight something on the screen or any feature so you can select uh, and here we have to select the brush option the colors and the thickness and here if i like start drawing so it's highlighting okay if you want to highlight the specific area so for example this one so this is how i can highlight things so if i press close and clear so it will close and clear uh, the drawing tool so this is the drawing tool you can use i normally uh, not using uh, this option because i have to design on the screen so this option is like for educational more type of education videos are you have already created something and you want to explain each feature so you can use this option and this is really powerful option okay next is the text screenshot so for example if i'm designing something or i have prepared something and i want to take the screenshot so i can take the screenshot from here okay so uh, this is the file management if we click on it so here here, as we can see this is show all the files here it show only records this is the screenshot and this is the extracted audio so here we can filter and here the all is selected so from here you can see how many clips did you record it and if you want to open these so you can access your files and clips from here if i click on the new it will starting from the new i can delete clips from here and refresh to uh, like refresh this file uh, directory so this is the file management simple quick tour and now we have option for the settings so if i click this so this is important one where do you want to uh, save your file so uh, i want to save file in the recording folder here you can create your own folder and navigate to that specific folder next is the format if uh, i prepare this move file and mp4 is the universal file type format and move is like a more higher quality and the file size is much larger and the mp4 is more like a compressed and 
and the smaller file size next is the frame uh, speed so here we have to specify 24 frame per second so normally i record it this frame you can ex uh, like 60 frame per second it's totally up to your preferences okay next you have to auto merge audio so i have already selected this feature i don't want to extract my audio my video and my audio in separate i want this to be in one single clip so that's why i select this and i have turned this feature off and like i selected this feature export merge file only okay so i am more like a just one single clip with audio is also merged with this clip okay click on the advanced so advanced here we can like a show mouse cursor so if you select this so here in the menu you will see all the controls here it's totally up to you uh, show the countdown so i will mostly uh, select five seconds to prepare myself and start recording so this is just uh, uh, like a countdown timer before starting recording automatically select the same area this is important feature turn on because i want a 1001 record remember my previous setting and record from the exact location remember the previously selected audio source all these things need to be turned on show recording duration on the menu bar this is important feature because sometimes i uh, want to track my time so it's okay so this is important to show you the timer of the recording session turn up the vip camera once recording is finished okay so this is a picture in picture camera while this is here a small video uh, once you're recording your screen so uh, i normally didn't use this video side thing so that's why i leave this uh, as default okay here is the shortcut i customize this okay so here you will see all the default shortcuts uh, application uh, assigned but i prepare my own one so the first thing is to turn this feature on okay so and another option i am really using and uh, i mentioned this in earlier that i mostly recording in the record area so i only assign control a to enable this feature okay next i didn't assign any shortcut these are my shortcut i created this is about and this is explore okay now let's discuss this last feature and then we are ready to start recording okay so this is auto zoom effect uh, i'm going to turn this on if this feature is turned off so you have to add auto zoom manually so i prepare to add automatically so i will check this on and now let's close this window and we are ready to start recording okay so first i have to click on the area recording click on recording and this confirm that your system audio is disabled and microphone is connected so i am checking my microphone is connected i am going to click on continue so this is the countdown timer and here is the shortcut preview next i am going to hide this control bar from here okay and now it's time to open figma start designing okay so i am going to select text tool click here draw frame and let's type go okay so this is my text now uh, on the right side i'm going to select the size so for example i'm going to select for the size 32 pixel and for the weight make it bold okay so this is just a simple recording test now i am finished with the design so let's stop the recording i'm going to select this stop button here and click on 1001 record this is my video clip and now i am going to select try auto zoom okay so click on this editor so as we can see auto zoom is applied so let's start from here first we have audio merge system audio is 100 percent. so i don't want system audio and i prefer microphone volume but let's make it 100 for the border style let's apply this light border or maybe let's leave it none and i prepared background so for the background let's check these cool colors you can apply the solid color gradient and wallpaper so i prepare the gradient and i think this is more vibrant color or this one so let's stick with this one okay next we have add watermark so i am not a big fan of watermark so let's leave it and here we have zoom animation okay so now let's discuss the auto zoom feature okay so for example here i click on figma and i don't want auto zoom here so what i'm going to do is to select and delete from here i don't need to apply auto zoom here uh, let's check this out so as we can see here i'm clicking and i don't need here and okay so i think i don't need auto zoom here so let's check here especially for the panel i really recommend uh, the auto zoom feature so this is cool to apply here and let's check the timing so let's increase the time up the auto zoom okay so for example i am increasing the bar something like this so as you can see now if i hover so it show the preview this is looking perfect once this is the semi bold and here i am going to shrink this okay to after the semi bold selection okay so as you can see here we have selected the semi bold and now we need a normal mode so next we have this here i don't need so let's delete this also don't need here 
it will only record your click and make it auto zoom so uh, every time i don't need auto zoom but especially for the panel i prefer auto zoom so let's delete this one and now my editing and recording is completed and i'm going to select and click export okay so let's click export and i have already created recording folder so let's make it to zero one and save it will take some time okay so once it's finished and now i am going to test the recording so as you can see 01 is the first file we created and once i press the space bar so as you can see this cool looking recording here turn off this audio and let's check all the feature we applied okay so for example here we have look at this i really love this feature and this is the auto zoom okay so this was a quick tour of 1001 record so that's it for the today and hope you like the tool i highly recommend you to download and reuse this tool and let me know in the comments your thoughts about this tool okay and see you in the next video bye